think Vandy's about to be really happy. I know I am. It's a beautiful night. There we go. In there, there's an audio key that you that full check, but it's like an accessory. See if you can find that. There we go. Test, test, okay. We are getting fired up for some nonstop action here tonight, Waterloo, Iowa. The debut of Absolute Pro Wrestling, and I have none other than Bam Bam Bundy hanging out with me at the commentary table. Ace, I am so excited for tonight, and why do we have Matty Starr walking to the ring? I'm not he, sure. He, he doesn't let Jason Prentice welcome this wonderful crowd here in Waterloo, Iowa, and the crowd really shows their displeasure for Matty Starr interrupting the one of the owners of Absolute Pro Wrestling, Jason Prentice. Matty Starr scheduled to take on Jimmy Wilde in the main event tonight. And, man, we were so super excited for that, man, because it's Jimmy Wilde. It's Matty Starr. I just – this we knew this was the main event we wanted for this show. There are not two better athletes in all the state of Iowa. Oh, Matty Starr with a disrespect. I guess Matty just doesn't believe people from other states travel to come see Absolute Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Man, he just doesn't like anybody. Well, the crowds definitely show their displeasure with Matty Starr tonight already. I 
All these wonderful faces here for APW. He sits here and just, and you know, and I, I know he did the same thing on the two count podcast with y'all, man. He just, he attacks this crowd. And the man's telling him, oh, the crowd's telling him, there we go. You know, he may not have a lot of friends, but he is the legend killer for a reason. Most definitely. That's no way to talk about our hosting city for this debut show. Well, I think we all know. Yeah, I think we all know. There's only one person that's going to sit here and interrupt Matty Starr, and that is the Dirty Dog, Jimmy Wilde, coming in, making his way to the ring for Absolute Pro Wrestling. He is definitely not going to let Matty Starr stand for everything that he's been saying to this crowd already. We may not have to wait till the end of the show for this main event. You know, the main event is just a title, man. They may just do it right now. We may have an explosive beginning to the debut show of Absolute Pro Wrestling. The crowd definitely agrees. See, this is what we were talking about. Jimmy Wilde, not afraid of a fight, especially with a veteran like Matty. Oh, oh my what God! Look do? at this. What is he doing? Matty Star, when Jimmy's not looking. Matty Star with the boost to his knee. It was a chop block that took Jimmy Wilde down. Jimmy off into the corner. Matty's just putting the boots of the dirty dog, Jimmy Wilde. No, we gotta we gotta get somebody yeah, out. Yeah, we here. need some help out here. Jimmy is helpless in the corner. This is absolutely uncalled oh, no. for Jimmy from the legend killer Matty Starr. This is not what you think a role model would do. Mm -mm. Jimmy grabbing that leg. Uh, I don't. What, I don't know is, if he's going to be able to is, go tonight. What is Matty Starr doing? He rolls to the outside. What is? What does he have in his hands? Oh no, he's got a steel chair from underneath the ring. He's getting. Oh in. no, someone's oh, got to no. help Somebody's Jimmy. Gotta, we got Mike Johnson. He's looking like he's going to go after Jason Prentice. No, no, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 come on. No, oh, my Maddie. goodness. Matty Starr, that's our main event. Jimmy Wilde in pain right now, and he's what going he? for another no, one. No, no, what, uh -oh. what is he doing? Why is he? Matty, no. Just focusing on this knee of Jimmy Wilde. He's he's not going to be able to wrestle tonight. There's no way no, Jimmy Wilde. Come on. Someone Somebody needs get out to there and stop him. it. Somebody get out there and stop it. No. Jason no. Prince sitting there begging and pleading with Matty Starr. Who is this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ethan it's Everhart. Ethan Everhart. Ethan Everhart. Oh, my God. Making the save. There we go. Ethan yeah, Everhart get getting the punches in on Matty Starr. Here we go. Rocking and rolling. Ethan Everhart shoots Matty off to the ropes. Matty Bells. Oh, Matty, Matty gets Bells. out. Quickly. Matty Bells. Can we get security out here? Jason oh, Prince here calling go. for security. We've got security rolling out to the ring. We need to get some space between these guys and figure out what's going on. Jimmy Wilde can't even get up right now. No, that was a savage attack by the role model, Matty Starr. And that is just not how a role model is supposed to act. What does he mean there's no main event? I guess Matty just didn't want to wrestle tonight? Jimmy just cannot what, even stand What is, what is Everhart thing. saying? What is What is what is Everhart? What? Look this, at this. The this, fans behind Ethan. They're definitely behind Ethan Everhart here tonight. Oh, 
Oh my Okay, word. there we go. There we go. Yeah, we're not going to let Maddie Starr get off this easily. Maddie is furious. He had a plan. He thought he was going to get out of a match tonight. And attacking one of the great stars coming up here in Iowa, the dirty dog Jimmy Wild. Let's let let's hope. Right now we have AVB Aaron Von Barron in the ring with Jackson King, the lone diamond Jackson King. And I'm super excited to see Jackson King in the ring uh, here at Absolute Pro Wrestling. We knew that Jackson King was a talent that we definitely wanted a part of this company. And look at Rex Kenway arguing with the crowd as Aaron Von Barron kicks Jackson King in the stomach. Jackson King trying to pull himself up on the ropes there. And Aaron Von Barron grabbing his hands around Jackson King's throat. Choking on the ref. Ref's letting him know. Oh, Ooh, big chop big. from AVB. Jackson King, a lot of proof. He's had. A, he's kind of coming out of his rookie year uh, and into his second big year in the wrestling world. So a lot to prove right now. He oh. is. Takes another big chop. Jackson King to his knees. And you're right. Coming out of the rookie year is one of the hardest years for any wrestler. You're learning and getting your feet wet. But I see a lot of great things. Oh, Billy, with a third chop from Aaron Von Baird. I see a lot with Jackson King being able to do a lot of things in absolute pro wrestling, Iowa wrestling, and wrestling in general. 100%. But right now, look, oh, at, look at this. Fired up. Jackson King is fired up. Big shot to AVB. Big shot. Jackson King. Duck. Whoa. Big German suplex from AVB on Jackson King. Slowing the momentum down that Jackson was trying to build. Most definitely. You know, the good thing we saw is the crowd was definitely behind Jackson King as he fired up. Two count pin. Jackson getting on up onto his feet, but taking a big foot to the gut. Cross the ring and ooh. Oh, big hard buckle taken by Jackson King. Baron threw everything he had in that one. Baron shows incredible strength. He's a great ring general. Being a part of the stud club here in Iowa, managed by Jason Prentice at times, but showed that he is a true Wiley veteran and able to be that, that maniacal veteran. Mm -hmm. Slow, methodical, and just a blatant one-foot pin, boots to the back of Jackson King. A little bit of a nonchalant pin. Got to take the uh, the young kid a little bit more serious than that. A little bit, and we just see we just see the veteran wiseness of AVB using the count to his advantage. Right now, up on the ropes, and oh, oh. comes down on Jackson. Big double axe handle on Jackson King, and Jackson King with a good kick out. Good. He's not got he's not got um, any quit in him. That's one thing Jackson definitely will always have going for him. The Lone Diamond does not know the word quit, and he will fight and fight and fight. 
Will it be enough to beat AVB? I'm telling you, man, a diamond is one of the toughest things in the world, and that's what Jackson King is. That's why he's called the Lone Diamond. There's somebody, there's nobody in this business with more heart. Look at him with the reversal right there to the arm bar on AVB. He's got him hooked right there in the uh -oh. center of the ring. In trouble, AVB. Yelling, yelling for AVB to happen. Jackson had it locked in, but not tight nope. enough. Look at him. Oh! Big power bomb from Aaron Von Baron. Jackson almost got him, but now just ne nearly escaping that count. That never die attitude from Jackson King prevails him to be able to kick out at the two count. I talked to Jackson earlier, and he, he said he has a lot that he needs to get out tonight. And he really, really wants people to know him as this lone diamond in Iowa. And it starts tonight with AVB, he said. It does. It's a great time to do it here. Ooh. Big right hand. Another big right hand from Van Baron. Ooh. The thud of that shop. Oh, oh, big hurricane out from the Lone big Diamond. Big move by Jack. Big drop King. kick. Jackson King's getting real fired up here. Another. Oh, he goes for another big splash. AVB nope, throwing him up and over. Oh, big oh. kick right into AVB's face. I think the crowd's behind. Although Jackson's got to watch out. Rex oh, Kenway standing there ringside. Crowd's definitely behind Jackson King here. He's, he's pacing. Him. He's waiting. He just wants Aaron Von Baron to get up to his feet. Oh! oh. Reversal by Aaron Von Baron. Shows the veteran. He's got a cross face locked in. Center of the ring. And Jackson get Jackson out. Get to it. Desperately crawling. He's crawling. He's crawling. Rex Kenway's on the outside. Now we got to keep a big eye on him. Referee Christian right there. Back. Uh -oh. One, two. Nope, just one count. Goes right back into that submission. That's what we're talking about with the veteran qualities of Aaron Von Baird. How he was able to get right back into where he was. Billy's crawling for the ropes. Billy gets the ropes. Taking all that time to break that hold like you said jackson no quit in this kid and aaron von baron looking a little frustrated right now that he can't put him away you never know what your opponent really brings to the table and i think aaron von baron is finding out what jackson king's got tonight the crowd chanting for jackson king from des moines Couple slaps to the back of jackson king's head Oof. he's calling for the death what? What? Oh, oh Billy roll with up. the roll up. One, two. Jackson oh, he King. Got him. He there got he goes. Him. Jackson King with the upset gets out of the ring quick with a roll up, Bam Bam. And there's your winner, the Lone Diamond, Jackson King, getting the very first victory right here in Absolute Pro Wrestling. That's something you will never be able to take away from Jackson King. Again, we said he had ground to prove, and I think he just made a statement. I think he did. You can definitely see that statement written all over Aaron Von Barron's face right there. Very true. Look at this. Him and Rex Kenway. Not happy how that one went down. He can blame Rex all he wants, but at the end of the day, Jackson King, King. got the better of AVB. It wasn't uh, Rex Kenway that took the pin. Yeah, right, right. Well, I'll tell you what, man, man, one hell of a way to kick off the debut of Absolute Pro Wrestling. Amazing match. Amazing match. Great way to kick off Absolute. I'm so excited to see what's for the rest of this card tonight, including myself and Gable Galileo. Uh, you got some work to do a little bit later tonight. I do, I do. But we also, coming up, we got the triple threat match. I wonder who's going to be taking Ethan Everhart's place. I don't know. It's a good question. We also got a really great tag match that's going to happen tonight. We do. We do. The hometown boys, the Golden Boys, take on Cole Cannon 
and Damian Saint. The OV original violence. Tell you, that's a match that we are going to be super excited about. You know, and another match that I'm really super excited about is this one that's coming to the ring. Mm -hmm. You have what's coming to the ring right now, two of the absolute biggest monsters that we could find in the entire state of Iowa and all of professional wrestling. You guys aren't lying. Bam Bam, I tried to interview these gentlemen about a week ago before the show tonight, and I don't know if you saw it. Didn't go well. Yeah, you um, didn't go well well at all. But right here, making his way to the ring right now is the Wanderer from the Arctic Wasteland. This guy is six foot one, 298 pounds of scrap metal. And I can see that scrap metal strapped all to him. I think every one of those license plates represents a place this man has been. 15 states, two different countries, and he's ready to go tonight. Look at that face on the Wanderer. It's a scary man right there. But he's got to face another scary man. I'm telling you, and it's one of Iowa's greatest. And I'm going to say that about a lot of these guys because that's what we went out and found. Iowa's best wrestlers and the best wrestlers we could find around professional wrestling. Oh, and we know that siren. Mm. That siren means this man's opponent's coming to the ring. Death dealer. Oh. There he is with the chain, as always, around the neck from State of Emergency, 6 to 280. These guys are so close in size, Bam Bam. It's, it's just flat out amazing. These are two absolute monsters, no pun intended. I'll tell you what, I hope you guys got insurance for the night show here in this building because these two could very well tear this place to the ground. Man, it's not just the insurance I'm worried about with this match. Are we sure the ring's going to hold up to these two? I am not. I'm very, very concerned. And if anybody here in attendance sees these guys coming, get out of the way. Death Dealers definitely looks like he's a fan favorite here in Absolute Pro Wrestling. And you know, uh, we've got the Wanderer here with his scrap metal. The Death Dealer didn't uh, leave any metal at home either. Right. No. He just puts the mask on that turnbuckle post. Getting Look the at him. Getting behind the crowd him. behind him. Oh. Death Dealer is definitely, definitely a fan favorite here tonight. Uh oh. And Wanderer. What, what's Wanderer going with on? the attack from behind. Why? We haven't even had a bell yet. Wanderer taking it to the Death Dealer. The referee Joey, you look at him. He's trying to get this under trying control. Trying to get him separated. But I mean, we, we've put Joey in an almost impossible task. Can he handle these two behemoths? Look at this. Wanderer just boots to the Death Dealer in the corner. A little bit of separation. Let's see if Joey and look can... at Death Dealer getting right back up to his feet. A little bit of pain. But you're going to have to do a lot more than that to keep the Death Dealer down. And I'm not sure the Wanderer knows too much about that. Here we go. Ring the bell. Wanderer comes right over. Look at is, he, is he going for the choke slam already? Nope. Death Dealer. Ooh, big oh, big elbow. Stunned the Wanderer right there. Off that top rope. Another big right hand. Oh, there we go. Man. Big clothesline from the Death Dealer taking down Wanderer. He may have woken a, a little bit of the Death Dealer with that with that jump start there that we had at the beginning. Goes Wanderer shoves him off. Whoa. Look at that. Wanderer, smart, though. Very smart. out of the ring. Give some space, a little time to regroup. Looks like Death Dealer is going to make his way out as well, though. Wanderer doesn't see him coming. He better turn around. Now, this is exactly where what you guys don't want, and that's these two big guys yes, outside of the ring. Yes, most definitely. We oh. don't want that. Oh, just all post in the face of the Wanderer right there. Big axe handle to the back. Ooh. Metal on metal. It's a great strategy to use against the Wanderer. Can't be mad at it. Right now, bounces Death his Dealer. head off the side of the apron. In control. Wanderer making his way back in the ring. Wonder if Wanderer's going to learn from this of jumping somebody before the match. Oh! oh! Look at that. Kicks the rope into a low blow. Again, though, smart. Ref's not looking. You know, and you learn that from traveling the way the Wanderer does. And he's showing that he's learned some tricks from the 15 different states that he's been in. Definitely. Right now, full control of Death Dealer. He's going to throw him through those the ropes. ropes. Oh. 
sitting on the back of the death dealer. Oh, oh. again, using the ropes to his advantage. Kicks the ropes this time, taking the death dealer down by the throat. Crowd not liking this. Definitely not. We want wholesome action here in Absolute Pro Wrestling, and this cheating is just... It's getting out of hand already. We're only on the second match. Match number two, and it's crazy. Ooh. Oh, big shoulder in the corner. Almost lift the ring up with that. I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure this ring can hold these gentlemen. Wanderer finding his groove, but look at oh, that big, big boot. boot. Big right hand, big right hand. He's going to take it all the way, and Wanderer shuts him down. Oh. Big right to the eyes. Wanderer very smart, keeping Death Dealer in the corners. Most definitely, and using the count to his advantage. Yo. A little slap there. He's Much disrespect from the Wanderer Death Dealer. Ooh, big foot. Look at this. Snapmare. Oh, Wanderer's just in his easy. hair, pulling the hair follicle, separating that skull, putting the nerve damage to the Death Dealer. It's a very unique tactic. Crowd's getting behind the Death Dealer. Trying to pop his head like a pimple. Look at that. But Death Dealer gets up, throwing those elbows. Three great big elbows. Knee to the face. Close line blocked. Oh, big headbutt. Oh, 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 I'm surprised the ring stayed up on that. The power. Huge suplex from the Wanderer onto Death Dealer. I mean, the Wanderer jumped in the air while doing that. The, the amount of weight and, he had to lift while doing and, that. And look at the look at the Wanderer sitting here disrespecting the crowd for getting behind the Death Dealer. What what is what oh, is he what is he, why is he pointing up. to the sky? He's not going up, is he? I, I, oh my I'm not goodness. sure gravity's good for that. Oh, Death Dealer catches him though at the top. Good. Good shot from the Death Dealer. Oh, Death Dealer looks like Death he Dealer says he's nine. going up. No, oh, my goodness. What are these two gentlemen oh, doing? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if these ropes are going to last. Death Dealer setting him up. Can Wanderer block? Wanderer's holding on to the ropes, holding on to the ropes. These rings, he's not going anywhere. These ring ropes look like they're about to clamp. Oh! oh! Look at that. Both men down. That hurt. I think there's both. one way to take down a giant. Referee checking on the both of them. Referee Joey starting his count. Both men laying down on the mat after one of the most incredible, powerful suplex that we've seen from the superplex area. It shook the ground here in the venue. Are we sure that that didn't register on the Richter scale? It may have. It very well may have. Both men almost to their feet here. Trading blows. Both men with big right hands. Well, we can see who the crowd likes getting hit. Back and forth, forth they go. Uh-oh. Death Dealer brings the knees in. Big elbow. Death Dealer off the ropes. Big Whoa! clothesline. Fired up Death Dealer. He is cooking. And he's letting the crowd know. Look at this. Oh, big oh. elbow. Good reversal elbow by the Wanderer. Death Dealer comes back. Ducks the clothesline from the Wanderer. Sidewalk Whoa! slam. Puts him down center of the ring. But here, he's not covering him. He could have won. This match could there, be over. There's there the cover. And oh, it cost him. Wasted too wasted much time. Way too much time. You can't give that much leeway to the Death Dealer. He's already proved in this match that he takes a superplex and he can come back and just fire up out of nowhere. That's the type of energy that this monster possesses. You can't come into a match like this when you're a monster yourself facing another monster and think you can do things like that and take it lightly. Man, you know, the way they're doing this, you know, these guys might even do a dive the way they're working. Oh, man. Oh, oh! look at that. Death Dealer puts the Wanderer huge, down. Huge spine buster on the almost 300-pound Wanderer. Death Dealer. Now he's going up top. These gentlemen are spending a lot of time on the ropes tonight. Wanderer gets out of the way. 
Oh, oh he comes off with the clothesline. Big clothesline from the top rope. Death Dealer drags the Wanderer back. One, two. Oh, oh gets foot on the foot ropes. Up. Great ring awareness by the Wanderer. The Wanderer has had just smart plays this whole match. As soon as he landed, he rolled right to the ropes. He knew where he was. Ring awareness is such an important thing in professional wrestling, and that just proved it right there why. And Death Dealer's calling for the end. He's ready to put this one away. Stalking. Just ready for him to get up. He's calling for him to get up. Wanderer makes his way up. He's finally up on both feet. Wanderer comes in. Blocked it. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. choke slam. And it's oh, over. Nice. And it is over. Out of nowhere. Huge reversal into a choke slam, and the Wanderer takes care of business. That man is truly a machine from taking one of the most devastating clotheslines off of the top rope that I've seen. And to get up, basically recharge himself and and hit such a vicious, vicious choke slam on the death dealer. I guess you could say the Wanderer's game plan worked out in the end, though, as he's walking out with the victory. Death dealer does not look happy. He does not. I mean, I'm just going to throw this out there, but I'd, I'd like to see what these two could do with maybe no rules. I'm not sure that we have the liability insurance <laughs> for that ace. I don't know if the Both world of these guys does. are crazy. Very, very true. A death dealer again taking that big L as he walks out, but a big win for the Wanderer. Again, two huge monsters in the ring. And, man, what a match. And, man... Such an exciting continuance to the action that we have going on here in Waterloo, Iowa for Absolute Pro Wrestling. Mike Johnson says the ring's okay, and he's going to introduce our next match into this evening. And our one fall match bringing up, well, somebody that a lot of people in the Iowa area love. And it's not this guy. There he is, Max Chill with his buddy, Gabo Galileo, who you will get to see a little bit later on. Yeah, we got the king of the cosmos out here walking around with his uh, Dollar Tree crown. With his, um, I guess you can call him friends. That's it's, something, that's for sure. Oh, is, is Gable going to finally let Max Chill fight his own battle? We don't have to see both of these guys out of the ring at the same time, well, like always. Could be a good move on Gable's part. He knows he has to deal with you later. Better He's be saving that energy. Full. Better be saving that energy. Look at this. Max, Max Chill, all Chill, kinds of just, cocky. From Shag Nasties. He, he just oozes, oozes disgust. Max Chill weighing in at 2,700 ounces, by the way. 2,700 ounces. That's not even 100 pounds. <laughs> I don't know if he knows that. I know that. <laughs> and his opponent, wild man, a Ricky Bronson baby. Ricky Bronson. Am I reading the information on Ricky Bronson right, right there? Does that say this man likes to beat ass and smoke grass? This is true. He A uh, little bit of a video that he put out in preparation for this match, and he said he's going to beat some ass, smoke some grass. You don't know who Ricky Bronson is, let me tell you. He comes from Boone County, West Virginia. He loves to drink beers, stack cash, get paid, and drop your mommy's panties and get laid. Well, all righty then. <laughs> well, I'm super excited to see what Ricky Bronson brings tonight. I haven't had my chance to see this man very much, but my partners agreed this is a man that brings a lot of energy and one of the things that we wanted here at Absolute is the energy, is that rising up, because this crowd deserves it, and they've proved it already tonight. That's right, Ricky Bronson. A little bit of a change of attitude, and it's been pretty good for him as a recent, also coming off an injury, uh, just back to action these last few months, uh, and he's been real impressive. I tell you, man, coming back from an injury is nothing 
nothing easy in professional wrestling. You have to change everything that you were accustomed to before the injury. Referee checking both men as we get ready for these two to lock up. Ricky Brown's a little bit of the size advantage on Max Chill. A little bit. A little bit. We got Ricky Bronson in here at five foot ten, two hundred pounds. And again, correct me one more time. You said he was Max Chill was what? Uh two thousand seven hundred ounces. Two thousand seven hundred ounces. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of talking going on between these two. It looked like maybe a little flex uh competition going on. Ricky talking to the crowd, making sure that he's good to go. No weapons or anything. All right, match is beginning. Oh, no. Max Chill letting Ricky know. Max Chill with the first shot. Oh. oh. Ricky Bronson going to go again. Oh. Max Chill. Oh. Chop after chop after chop with these guys. Oh, look at him. He's getting referee the referee in the of way. Him. Ricky calling Ricky to the crowd. For it. He wants that extra shot. Oh. Oh, oh look big at shoulder that. tackle from Ricky Bronson. Just to speed both these guys going off those look, ropes. Look at the chest on Max Chill. It is already beat red. Well, I tell you, I don't know much about Ricky Bronson, but the crowd apparently does, and they are truly behind Ricky Bronson already right here. Oh, big, big running back elbow. Ricky Bronson feeling it, loving it. He likes to have a good time, Ricky Bronson. Likes to ride them dirt bikes, likes to drink his beer. Loves to party, it sounds like. Yeah. Oh, big suplex fight. from Ricky Bronson. Goes for the pin. Max, Max chill out at the one count. Max Schill rolls out for safety. Ricky Bronson about to get out. You can call him timeout. There's no timeout. There's no wrestling. timeout. Wrestling. Look at this. Max Schill's running away from Ricky Bronson. Referee starts the count. Max Schill's still calling for a timeout. Huh? Oh, uh, there that. it goes. Max Schill right on top. Kind of a crafty veteran move from Max Chill. Not something I truly expected. Lure and Ricky Bronson around the ring and back into the ring so he can get the advantage. A little cat and mouse game right there. And Max Chill now being able to take it to Ricky Bronson. Ooh, oh, right big to the shot back. to the spleen. Snapmare by Max Chill. And right Ooh. to the back again, focusing on that spine. Terrible area. That's the thoracic area. Very easy area to damage more than the lumbar and the cervix. Max Schill not happy that that was a two count. Oh, big kick to the back of Ricky Bronson's leg. Max Chill going after the leg of Ricky Bronson. I mean, that's a good play. You take the legs out of your opponent. I mean, they very they innovative stand. leg drop. Not just bending that leg. Look at him. Ricky. Look at the pain on Ricky Bronson's face. Referee Christian checking it out. Oh, look at this. Oh, goes. Oh, there he goes. Turns, Two count. Turns it into a pin. Ricky, though, he's in some pain right now. He's struggling a little bit. Throwing those. Uh, ooh, ooh, that one caught him. Max is keeping that offense going. Max getting a little cocky. Look at him, a little, little, little air gun. That, that there. may turn out to be very dangerous for Max Chill. That cockiness has turned out on the wrong end for a lot of guys. Well, and he's forgetting again, too. Ricky Bronson only back in action for a few months now, and he is hungry. He wants to get back on a win streak, and he wants to take it far. And I understand it, man, but... Uh, it's kind of looking like Ricky may have come back just a little too early. Max Chill working on the back of Ricky Bronson and not laying off of it. Rolls Ricky around the ring. 
Go off Max shelf oh. ropes. Ooh. Oh, no. Whoa! Oh, big oh. reversal into a DDT by Ricky Bronson. Explosive move from Ricky Bronson. Just desperation getting to him. We Max Chills just... The, the nerve damage that just came from that move has Max Chill just flopping around like a fish. Now he's kind of getting to his... Oh, no. Right back down. We got a six count so far. Both men working their ways up to their feet. Ricky Bronson having to use the ropes, ropes for leverage. Oh, Ricky's... Look at him. Oh, look at him. Just backs Max Chill up into that corner, throwing big elbows. And big oh. bulldog. Putting him down. Ricky Bronson's feeling good. Oh, spine buster from Ricky Bronson. Oh, Ooh. Ricky Bronson. Ricky is letting Max chill. No. Ricky Bronson like he's on his dirt bike back home. Revving it up. The crowd loves it. One, two, oh. Max Chill. Shoulder up the last second. I thought that was it for him. I thought he, so he was revving up, riding his dirt bike. Yeah. I thought he had it. Oh, another timeout. Max Chill with his timeout. Oh, look at that, though. It worked. Modified Samoan drop. Another two kind of count. STO. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, who, who is this? What, who, what is this clown doing? What is what is uh why is Gable back down here? Where did he go? Where, is he is he over there on the side? What is Gable? Oh, oh Gable's no. got oh, Gable's no. got the chair that was used on Jimmy Wild earlier. Why did nobody remove that from ringside? Oh, look at this. Max Referee's Shields coming. not watching. Oh! 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 That cockiness backfired on Max Chill. Ricky Bronson has to take advantage right now. Oh, oh, big stutter by it. Ricky Bronson. He's going for the cover. One, two, three. It's over. Here we go. He that is. cockiness, the teamwork of Gable Galileo backfires on Max Chill, and we have your winner, Ricky Bronson. Yeah, baby. Ricky Bronson's a winner tonight. He outsmarted both Max Chill and Gable Galileo. How about that chair? Just that, coming back into Max Chill's face. I, I really, truly think that Max Chill just got way overzealous. I believe you are correct. You can't take Ricky Bronson light when he's ready to go like that, revving up the engines. And, uh, well, now that he's uh, done it, I think it's time for him to go smoke grass, I guess. I, I guess, Ricky man. Ricky Bronson. As long as he doesn't do it here at the building, we're fine. That's true. One thing that we should uh, also keep an eye out, though, is that Gable Galileo don't have more chairs later you know what i'm gonna make sure uh between one of these matches that um we, we clear all chairs from ringside that aren't the ones the fans are sitting in oh oh The Neverhearts section. And, you know, they've taken up a whole section. They got section D, it looks like, all to their cells. Side B. And, and yeah, nobody's cheering for Max Chill. No, no. no nobody's liking Max Chill or Gable Galileo tonight. Someone just asked if they won $1,000. Are we giving money out tonight? No. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it from the boss not, here. Not tonight, guys. Future shows, maybe. <laughs> we got Jason Prentice. I don't think he's ever given money to anybody. No, nah, nah, I think you're right. What it, I do it, know, though, is we got another great match coming up here. We got a triple threat match next. Triple threat match. Triple threat. And, you know, we still haven't found out from Jason Prentice who is going to be replacing the hometown guy, Ethan Everhart. Right. We don't know. We have no clue. We know Omega. We know Zay K-47. But who else? And now we got question marks. Well, we only have to ask for just a few seconds longer because here we go, guys. Triple threat time. Absolute pro wrestling. 
live from Waterloo, Iowa. And we are so excited to be here. Great turnout here in Waterloo, Iowa, and making his way to the ring. Ace, do you know much about this man? I don't. I've just recently got to find out about Omega. Well, and Let me tell you a little bit about Omega, the gold blood killer. I've had, a, I've had plenty of time around Omega down in Tennessee in the Kentucky area. This man is MMA background. He is Muay Thai. He has one loss in MMA by discontinuation. Discontinuation. His shoulder got pulled out of his socket is what I heard. Man, and it did. Just hanging there. The man never gave up. That is Athletic insane. commissions make people stop for things like that. States don't want to be responsible. This man knows no oh, – shows that he knows no pain. Walking to the ring with that big Singapore cane and the gold chains wrapped around this man's neck. I'm telling you, what you don't know about Omega is this is the toughest threat anybody in absolute pro wrestling will have. 100%. He is jacked up and ready to go. Look at that. Omega. Showing. You always have to be afraid when you got these guys that have that MMA background, a Muay Thai master. And again, only one loss, and it was because it was forced on. Yes, one loss forced on him. Insane. Insane. Zay K47's got his hands full, and so does that third guy. Zay K47, a great young upstart here in the state of Iowa, coming out from the IPW area. Works with Rugged Probe, two great other promotions here in the state of Iowa that we are so proud to be able to work with. Crowd's definitely loving them. Some ZK47 making his way around, shaking the hands, kissing the babies, gets in, goes right to the corner like a true baby face should. And Omega, though, did you see him? Creepy. He was on the, laying on the ground, like stalking him already. All right, here All right we go. Now let's go. It's Tyler Jones Tyler from Flex Appeal. Jones. Timeless Tyler Jones replacing even Everhart in this big triple threat match here. You got his little fan section here as well, straight out of his time machine. What a pleasant surprise. Tyler Jones from Flex Appeal is going to be in this match. This is a great decision by Jason Prentice. You know, when we saw what happened with Jimmy Wilde earlier, we, we truly didn't know who was going to replace Ethan Everhart in this. And I tell you, I am over the moon that Jason Prentice reached out and was able to get Tyler Jones. Yeah, I am excited for this. These are three tough guys. Look at Omega. Just kind of gives me the chills. This man, he's not, he's not the cold-blooded killer. He's the gold-blooded killer. This man goes for gold and blood every single promotion he steps in. And tonight, we're not going to see anything different. Look at this. Both AK men smart going right to Omega. Oh, already showing that MMA background. Big elbows to both men. Ooh. Oh, that chop may have been timeless. Off the rope. And Tyler toe dragged down on Omega. He rolls out of the ring. Uh oh. Oh. Whoa. Big boots through the ropes. Just Oh, ZK47 with a big hurricane run on Tyler Jones and a big nip up. Look at that. ZK there you go. Fire it up. Oh. Nope. Trying to go for that full Nelson bomb early. Got a clinched in full Nelson right there. Tyler Jones tries to break, break, gets the hands free. Modified hey, arm drag. Oh, look at him. Bang, Call bang, two shot. boots up. Tyler Jones catches the feet. Swings him out. Ooh. Big shot to the upper back neck area. Call asking for the crowd to get behind him. Brings Zay K down on his knee. Omega rolls in right when Zay K rolls out. There we out. go. Look at Omega being smart. While Tyler Jones had his focus on Zay K 47, he forgot all about Omega. Omega with the big Muay Thai knees right to the gut of Tyler Jones. You have to take advantage in these triple threat matches when the other two guys forget you're around. Most definitely. And Omega was smart. He rolled to the outside, kind of 
got out of everybody's eyesight and waited to pick his point where he was going to take advantage. Big kitchen sink from Omega, taking Tyler Jones over. Big boot to ZK47. They're not going to let him back in this match anytime soon, it looks like. Omega, an expert at using his feet, and he is showing it there. Now dropping elbows. See, the thing with Omega is he systematically takes around his opponents. Ooh. The man knowing so much about the Muay Thai and the MMA background knows that it's not just where you have to do it of beating the muscle, but you have to beat the nerves. You have to attack the nervous system. And right now, Tyler reversing Jones. it. Uh-oh. No effect on Omega whatsoever. What a beast Omega is. Look at this. Just tying Tyler up in that corner. Just keeping him in there and big Ooh. slap. ZK still on the outside as he looks like he's going to climb up on the ropes here. Oh. Right into the upper back of Tyler Jones. Here comes ZK 47. And Omega hooks him immediately. Ooh. The power Ooh. that Omega has behind these uh, punches. Just throwing ZK out. But again, we talked about how smart this is. Keep ZK out. Worry about Tyler. Right. Try to focus on one man at a time. And it's not just Omega and Tyler or Tyler and Zay or what will oh. eventually be Zay and Omega the way it just was. Well, now it's Omega's ring. He says he's, he's going to his wrist acting like, where's the time? I think Omega would be willing to take on anybody and everybody that came out of that back room tonight. Oh, most definitely. And, you know, I, I'd say you have a fighting chance against the entire locker room. Tyler Jones with the kick to the gut to Omega runs him into the pole. Ooh. And Zay, right, see, like they're doing, they're picking their shots. And look at this action spilling out into the crowd. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, right into the right wall. Right into the side of the building. The steel walls of this venue we're in, this wonderful venue. Needed the gut from Omega headbutt to Zay K47. Maybe Omega could throw him at that ATM and we can all get a little money out of this game. Go over to the table. <laughs> oh, big shot on the table by the entrance door. Uh oh, they are going all over. Look at that. Are they going outside? They just went out. He just threw his out of the building. Outside. Look at him. Done with him. Let's get back to Tyler Jones, Omega says, but not the case. Tyler Jones with a big shot off of the chair. Really, again, everybody's picking their shots. You let the two guys fight, get your breath, and you come back fresh, able to start your battle. Now, Bam Bam, what about this, though? Tyler just sitting on the chair, kind of just toying with Omega, and now look what happened. Everybody's getting real overzealous in this match. It happens time and time again. And look at the shots coming back from Tyler Jones to Omega. Oh, Look at this. Tyler's in full control of Omega. And the crowd's absolutely loving it. Bringing him Big back banger off of the, the right apron the, right there. Into the ring. Finally, I think we're going to get this action back into uh -oh. the ring. Zay K, though, comes in. I guess came back in from the parking lot. Oh, and right into the pole. Zay K47, almost a non-factor in this match right now between these uh, these guys. Uh, Omega and Tyler doing a great job of just keeping him out. They're they've timeless veterans, and they are doing what they have to. They're getting rid of the guy that has full of energy, the guy that is truly their threat with the age and the energy on his side, being in Zay K47. Right now, Omega calling for a timeout, and oh, look at that. Brings Tyler down into that turnbuckle. I think the office is going to have to remind these guys there really is no timeouts in wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Right to the back there. Look at these punches to the back. And notice it's the kidney yeah. area. Again, talking about taking down that nervous system. Anybody in the world has felt what it's like to get punched in the kidneys. And it just brings you to your knees at times. Luckily, Tyler Jones, the strong, superior athlete that he is, hasn't gone down to his knees until right now. So Omega's just ripping apart at the eye socket while Tyler's on the ropes. Omega, though, full control of the majority of this match. Gold blood killer for a reason. Omega was and will always be the threat, as I talked about before this match started. 
Huge shot. I'll tell you what, Bam Bam, this is my first time seeing Omega live in person, and I, not a disappointment. Not a, No, sir. And that's again, goes back to what me and my partners were talking about. This this was a man that we knew had to be here in Absolute Pro Wrestling. He is nothing but absolute power, absolute strength. Absolute is the name, and the cold blood killer is what you look for. And right now, he is absolutely taking it to Tyler Jones. Oh, look at the strength of Omega. At, oh. oh, just throws Tyler Jones around like a rag doll. We got a cover. One. Oh. Thomas Tyler Jones gets his shoulders up at the two count. Referee Joey hands full in this triple threat match in and out of the ring right now. Omega Tyler Jones in the center of the ring. It's AK-47 somewhere on the outside. See Zay making his way back up into the ring over there. Omega stretching out Tyler, driving that elbow into that uh, kidney there. What, what is what is Zay K doing? Zay going to the top rope. Zay K-47. Everything else hasn't worked out for him tonight. Let's see if this does. Oh, oh big cross body on the Tyler Jones. Omega with the smart move, push, pushing Tyler Jones into that cross body and then a big boot to ZK47. Whoa. Low Omega. bridge on Omega. Tyler Jones takes out the threat. Bicycle kick into Zay. And look. Oh, he's oh. swinging rock bottom. Swinging rock bottom from Tyler Jones. And, and there's your over. winner. Timeless Tyler Jones. The wild card in this match comes in and gets the win. Holy cow. What a matchup. That what was absolutely matchup. incredible from the timeless Tyler Jones. And you didn't even see the swinging rock bottom coming. You didn't. Wow. Omega. The clear control of this entire match, it seemed like. And Tyler steals the win. But you, you know, Ace, that's the beauty of professional wrestling. All you need is three seconds. And Tyler Jones got him as he's celebrating his win. Crowd's absolutely loving this win from Tyler Jones. And really just a great match by all three of these guys. I cannot wait to see more from all three of them here in Absolute Pro Wrestling. At this moment, bam, bam, we are going to cut away. We're going to take a little bit of an intermission here. We're going to get ready for our second half. You, sir, have some business to go get ready. You know for. what, Ace? I'm going to go get dressed. After what we saw with Gable Galileo tonight interfering in Max Chill's match, I might need to revise my game plan just a little bit. I know you got it in you, Bundy. I look forward to seeing you in the ring. We'll be back with some more Absolute Pro Wrestling. Where are these guys going? Just all staying up in unison. Here we go. We are back to action here. Absolute Pro Wrestling Waterloo, Iowa, the debut show. Wouldn't be a debut show if I didn't have Mr. Jason Prentice with me for the second half of the show. The dream team is back together. You and I, we haven't done this in quite some time, but what a perfect night to do it. Back again. Top shelf Tommy Chilstrom from the two count joining and, us on this match. At, look at what we're seeing. What in the hell? These guys are insane. I know Saints gone down a dark path, but look at look at Cole Cannon. Uh, the OV from the pet, original violence. Saint and Cole Cannon making their way to the ring. A whole new Cole Cannon. Yeah, I mean, both guys undergoing what I feel like is a spiritual change in uh, demeanor, in actions. And uh, you look at the OV, the original violence here. They're going up against two guys, two homers, two hometown boys in this hometown. one. And, uh I'm excited to see what happens. This is one of the matches that when we talked about it in the booking meeting, we say, hey, 
We know these two these two want to deliver the best performance possible. It's their debut I mean, appearance as a team for both both uh, OV and the boys. That's right. And yeah, you just missed it. Sane almost took out one of our fans oh just a God. moment yeah, ago. Yeah, I mean, my, thank Oh, look goodness. at this. He's grabbing the mic. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be good. Just a deranged individual. I'm kind of digging it, actually. You would, Tommy. I mean, they're not quite top shelf, but. See, calling well, out here. the boys. They're here. I mean, he... uh-oh. You know when the mask comes off, that's when the madness begins, man. Again, just two scary guys. Well, we're patiently waiting there, uh, opponents. It is the boys, the hometown boys. Ready for this one, guys. Oh, I'm excited about this. These guys have started yeah, Tommy, moving. Tommy loves these guys. These guys have started to move into that uh, top shelf lifestyle. And have I'm you seen it. what Bryce Jordan is wearing? Uh, it's magnificent. Look at this. It's magnificent. Word. Oh, my goodness. Did you guys get chills? Uh, I got some bit. chills. I, th it, this is honestly, this is a dream come true. Is calling a uh, Da Boys match. Say hello to Da Boys. <laughs> These Whoa. guys are just clowns. I love it. They understand what they're doing in Ooh. there. But we got the boys from Da Lu. Shank standing a big six feet tall and chiseled to eighty. So look at this guy. I mean, Shank's been. Working on the speed, the agility. He says he's been in the gym constantly. Yeah, you know, I Bryce Jordan him. has I not been him. in the gym. Yeah, that's what I heard. I know Tommy's been trying to send DMs to uh, Bryce saying, hey, if you're going to be top shelf, you got to be in top condition. Well, you know, he's still coming in looking real good tonight still. Looking I real mean, jacked. Yeah, I mean, he Look understands what his diet's all about, and he's been living that top shelf oh, life for at least goodness. a week now. Five, the boys. He's 5'10", 140 and a half pounds together. The boys weighing in at 420 pounds. The, I mean, yeah, this is, again, a match. Both teams making their debut. But for Shank and for Bryce Jordan, these two, they've, they've been training together for a long time. They've worked together in the ring in you know training. This seemed like a natural fit for them. So what better way to make your debut? If you're going to do it, why not do it in your hometown where you got all that energy, all that momentum, and that's big. Especially, I mean, you guys have felt it so far tonight. Oh, yeah. You know, it's a big what advantage to have. What a night. Uh, yeah, we also, we uh, we all, on Tuesday night, did a little preview show on the two count for tonight. What and, a weird, like, yeah. And what a weird guys, happening. Yeah, these guys all joined us live on the show, and it definitely went off the rails a little bit. It felt like a real classic segment. I don't well, know what we, you're talking about. Okay, okay. You say off the rails. Think about this. Think about who's involved in this. True. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the boys are one thing. We know how to Tommy Top Shelf. You know that when it comes to the, the boys, the rowdiness, the energetic personalities that are involved, it's always it's always going to go one way or the other. Well, right? I mean, let's be real honest here. I mean, Bryce Jordan is throwing. Bryce Jordan and Shank are both throwing out Mardi Gras beads to these wonderful. He had a dangly. Members. He had a dangly. I know. Again, they are going above and beyond. I mean, literally going to the top shelf here tonight. I love it. Well, and and Ace, you know. You look at the other side of the ball here. You got Cole Cannon and Saint. Yeah. You, off the rails is like that's their MO. And I'll tell you what, they both look scarier when it's match day than when they did on the show. The OV again. Original violence is what they're calling themselves now. Cole, a big six foot three, two hundred and twenty five point seven pounds, right? Yep. Saints at five eleven. Twenty eight grams is what he says his weight is. Together weighing in at six hundred and sixty six. Pounds. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if the math is completely right well, on that. But you got to remember who's involved. This you got to uh, math may not be what they're most concerned about. It just violence. That's what they care about. They, they don't care if you say they're from here or there or anywhere. They care about just inflicting the most violence possible in any given situation. And these two here, you got 
Shank and Cole Cannon, they've been tag partners. Outside of uh, Absolute Pro Wrestling, they were partners and tag wow. champions in Rugged Pro Wrestling. Big and they lost the titles recently. So this is kind of a grudge for both men to kind of settle tonight. Look at this. Look at this. They're playing Explosive it up to the crowd. There we go. Tag. Explosive tag right now. Bryce Jordan enters the ring with Saint, the legal man in. Look at him. He's saying that we know each other. Wait, well, I will say this. It's really good to see Cole back in the ring. But, uh, again, I'm more excited about the fact that these are two original teams, two yeah. tonight. I mean, this is fantastic, really. Well, and I know with these two in the ring right now, with Bryce Jordan and with Saint, Saint and his former alter ego, Damian Saint, they're looking for a come up in, on Bryce Jordan after a vault taping from a few months ago, quite a few months ago. It was a triple threat match where I believe actually Shank was involved in it as well. And it went the way of Bryce Jordan. Saint was very bitter about that about that loss to him. And tonight is another way to get your come up if you're a Saint and Cannon, both with grudges against the two men they're facing. Right. What? And right now the crowd a hundred percent behind oh, the boys, goodness. but Saint just dropping Bryce Jordan. Well, I, you guys are also missing the point here. He hit him with a closed fist as he was on the ropes. I mean, come on. What is the referee doing on this one? Well, you know, referee Christian, hard working referee, can't always see everything. Does well, his best. Chris Hansen, take a seat is what he's saying with this match. Hey, do your best, do what you got to do. And uh, I know with Shank and with Bryce too, but mostly Shank, they're okay because you know what? They want to inflict the same kind of, uh, I guess, violence, if you will. They want to, they want to do the same kind of stuff. Very you fair know, the, point. The the rules are there, but are they always followed? Eh, maybe not so much, but. Again, so far, like you said, the crowd definitely behind the boys. But as far as the match is concerned, this new team of Saint and Cannon, they've done a good job controlling and cutting off the ring, cutting off Bryce Jordan from getting back to the big weapon that is the shank. Yeah, and Cole Cannon, let's talk about that because, again, coming back from injury, you know he's ready for action. He's been itching to get back in the ring. He's been itching to get back and fighting, and here we go. And right now, Saint and Cole controlling this match, keeping Bryce away from Shank. Game, well, game plan well thought out. And you mentioned, you mentioned. The, oh, uh, oh my goodness! Look what at a snap that. dragon from Bryce. Tack that there, is amazing. There, ref sees it, and now Bryce Jordan trying to make that. Oh nope, can't get it. Saint wraps him up from behind him. Oh, a big suplex! Ooh. Right on the that shoulder. Down. Goes for the cover. What? Oh, hey, he's on a rope there. Yep, that's a good break there. Good ring awareness, but you know, Bryce Jordan makes sure that uh, again that the boys are still in this one. One thing to mention when you talk about Cole Cannon, you know, I, I'm somebody who I used to manage Cole, and uh, him and I are still in frequent conversations with each other. He told me how much this match means to him, coming back from a very serious injury that could have put him out for the rest of the year. Very true, very true. Good to see him back in the ring. Uh, Saint with that back kick to the back of the head of Bryce gets a cover. Can't close the match out, though. Now he's going to put his focus on that arm and good, wrist. Yeah, good trap there. Good job extending the arm there. Has a submission, but nice job by Jordan to roll through. Takes a lot of that pressure off. And now roll up. Oh, almost the rolls, but gets close. the kick Almost. The Got boy's him. almost getting it. I like to see it. And also, too, the... The fans oh, here Bryce got terribly. confused there, Tommy. You see that? Bryce got confused. He didn't know which corner to go to. Well, that cost him big, you know, big time. Yeah, Saint has been working his eyes a lot here, though. You know, rubbing him against the ropes and working him hard. I get it. You know, sometimes you just get a little confused. It's, it, it happens sometimes. I mean, Cole. not necessarily to the top shelf, but you know. All good oh, good roll through and a tag. Oh, oh he got the ass. tag. The shank here is comes in. the walking weapon. Big clothesline, Shanky boy. Fire. Wow. Killing him with these clotheslines. Oh, oh big elbow. back elbow. Huge. Way to keep it going, Shank. Uh oh. Playing to the He's crowd a little it. bit. I love He's to see it. He's feeling it. Shank is feeling himself like a hot girl. Ah, ready to go. Oh, oh no. Quite in the midsection. Unbelievable. That's athleticism right there from Cole. And if you're Cole Cannon and Saint, that's what you have to do. You have to take this crowd out of this match. Well, think about it. He just kicked the breath out of not just the shank, but the crowd on that. Sure. And well, did. one, just one swell, what was it? One fell swoop. Yeah. If I can talk proper English. You did it. I've been hanging around the uh, OV a little bit, so little. I, I apologize about that. But just a great job there by Cole to, again, bring the air out of the crowd. 
Well, you know, I want to also say we are in Waterloo, so you're just around people who tend, generally talk like that. See, it's even affecting me right now. That's, I do have my Aquafina ready to go, but not a sponsor yet. Yet. Right you guys now, are though, a sponsor, though. We are. We're sponsoring yep. that big main event. But right now, though, we got Cole and Saint in there together. They're setting up Shay. Uh-oh, that's going to hurt. Uh oh, they can't, well, they can't get him. There oh, go. good Shane. smart move there. Good smart knees, move there. Throws him off. Look at Shank. He is proud Show of him. Uh oh, Shanky, what are you doing? Oh, knee oh! kick. Night night, Shanky. Saint dragging all that. A lot of dead weight. All that body to the middle. Oh, boy. Covers him. Could be it. Oh, Shank kicks out just in time. Looks like Bryce trying to get the crowd going here. That's what we need. Look at this. This crowd is fired up for the boys. Our ring attendant was ready to ring the bell there almost. I, I mean, I don't blame him. I, I thought this was over too. Great combination moves there. Again, both teams working very well together, I feel, in their first match together as teams. OV, the boys putting on a hell of a clinic right now. Yeah, and OV with a fantastic game plan, and that is – Quick tags and cutting half of the ring off. Well, that's really how you win matches is by isolation, by isolating your opponents. And they're almost getting there, Shank. But Shank he's almost has quite... it. Oh, oh my God! He got the tag. He got the tag. Here we go. Oh, oh no. no! Referee didn't see it. Saint. Oh no! What? Saint. They're out of their mind. Saint. Fell Was it over. a calculated move? It may have been. Oh, look I mean, at hey, even the Everhart section is pissed at that one. Either way, what matters is referee did not see the tag. Shank is still that legal man. Clint, I almost tossed his camera at the at the referee. Oh my god. This is absolutely appalling right now. Top for, show. What would you do in that situation? Well, I would call him out for being bottom of barrel. Oh, now, what a but, disrespectful yeah, oh man. Not. Listen, I mean, I know, I know, refereeing is a tough job, blah, blah, blah. But come on. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was uh, so blatantly obvious that the tag was made. Well, look at this. I mean, you got two guys in. Where's the count? And, well, see, I'm glad you see it my way right now. This guy should and be fine. Shank ducks out of the way. Barrel rolls down, and he uh -oh. makes the tag. This time it is legal. Go oh, oh, go. the top rope. A huge move by Bryce. Coming back, storming back. Bryce Jordan just throwing all kinds of haymakers. He's got uh -oh, both men in the corner. Look at this. Elbows to everybody. It seems like there's a knee. Hip splash. Oh, a frenzy of first. offense, oh. gentlemen. He's killing it right now. There we go. There's the big, big uppercut. Boy, I tell you, he is flying all over that ring right now. He's doing what he needs to do to try and get back in this match. Same reverses it there. Oh, oh no. Bryce is still Good rolling. Good he there. Uh oh, what's he going for? Out at the feet. Up on that second. Panama Sunrise. Unbelievable. Look at the destroyer. And he rolls right into Saint. Back is stabbed. Look at that. Bryce look Jordan this. making work of both of the OB. Oh, but look at that. Great job by Cannon. Saving the match. My goodness. How impressed are you guys with both these teams? Well, I'm always impressed with the, the boys, and I will give it up for OV here. Uh -oh. They are doing quite well. And, oh, my goodness, Shank, come on now. Come Bryce, on, buddy. Bryce Jordan, Shank outside. He's catched him. The, look like they're going to regroup here. I'm not quite sure. What is the OV doing? Cole. Uh oh, wait a second. Slingshot. Oh, oh, my goodness. Shank. Oh, almost in the down. first row. Oh, no, Shank. Uh -oh. Shank's got a – oh, no. He's got some kind of injury, it looks like. Both of them taking – Hard hits on that. Saint slow to get up. Shank slow to get up. Grabbing at that left uh -oh. looks like knee or, or back of his leg. Look at that. Yeah, Saint and Shank. How about that for a combination? Saint and Shank. And that look at this. We got a fight on the uh oh goodness. Uh -oh. oh goodness. What is going what on we got here? here? We got two men on the floor. Tommy, you Cole ever been Cannon. to the top shelf? I, I, how about the top rope? No, no, thank you. No, not for me. Not for me. This is not good. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my god! Oh. You have got to be kidding me. Cole Cannon suplex. And he's back up already. This is ridiculous. Jordan off the top Nikes. rope into Saint and Shank. Cole this, Cannon, the only one on his feet right now. Everybody else is dead, apparently, I'm thinking. Oh, I believe that's the case, and everybody else is Look at this, like though. Like, Tommy, look at this. Ace, look. 
again, Cole Cannon, last man alive, now Saint rolling around. They're trying to take down the boys, Bryce Jordan. Come on, Bryce. I know this, you got to come back This in, could be buddy. the death shot. Cole Cannon and Saint signaling it is oh, over. That's a signal of the stud club. Shanks back up. He's on the outside. He's ready to go. A little shout out to you. Apparently. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Look at this. Wait a oh! Bryce Jordan gets his way out. Throws oh, it right no! into Cole Cannon. Shank gets in the ring. Go! Big right hand. Looking to get the tag in. Look at this. There we go. Tag. tag. Shank, the legal man in the ring. Bryce Jordan, he throws Saint up on his uh -oh. shoulders. Go! Oh, good. Baby. Goodness. Right to the back of the neck. Wait a second. Here it comes. Uh oh. Saint the shots the are down. Business is picking up. Up on the shoulders. Going big time with this, boys. Top shelf life is coming on. Oh, oh he got cutter. it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Goodness oh, gracious. Got yes. it. Yes. The yes. boys are the winners. Hometown oh, boys. I want to make sure I go on record and saying I called this. I knew this was going to happen. The boys forever, boys. Holy wow. crap. What a match. What a match. And credit goes to everybody here. This was an unbelievable match. Everybody put their bodies on the line. Really giving it to these people what they deserve tonight was this match happening right there. Shank delivers two death blows. The big forearm shot knocking Cannon out of the way. And then Bryce Jordan with a little cleanup. Followed by a little uh -oh. shank up. Uh -oh. Oh, look at the embrace. Uh -oh. Look at the embrace. I've been told in a hug in the ring is uh, you're giving the people what they want, but Gotta I don't think. It. Maybe uh, maybe the way this match ended with Shank, Bryce Jordan will be more inclined to join them in these gym sessions. I think so. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> a little Say oh, hello gosh. to the boys. They're going to be here for a long time. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for having me on commentary. I hope to be back here real wow. soon. What? Uh, match top shelf, Tommy. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Have a great uh, rest of the matches here. And who knows? You might see me come back for that uh, two count sponsored main event, Mr. Prentice. Congratulations! This is a fantastic show, Ace. I still hate you, but I love you tonight. I appreciate you, Tommy. Come on, man. Two gingers. It's too. It's too late for that. Oh. And the hometown crowd still showing their appreciation. Shank and the Golden God, Bryce Jordan. Wow. Yeah. I'm. I that. I, wow. I mean, it's easy for me to get out of breath. I'm a big. I'm a big boy. Three. Three eighty five. Three eighty two on a good day. But my God, Bryce Jordan. Do you see? He got air yeah. to take out the cannon. Insane. And how about Cole, Cole Cannon's new look with Saint? Oh God, just great. Great job by both teams, but hey, hey, hey Let's you get, talk about another interesting oh, matchup. Oh, Gable and a team with well, I tell you what, Ov had a little rockiness at the end there. You look at a, a relationship that's a little rocky right now. Gable Galileo and Max Chill. Look at Max Chill, little little hurt, little boo boo from earlier tonight. Now we saw Gable Galileo earlier come out here to try to assist Max Chill in that yeah. match to get him to win with that chair, and I had. Mr. Bam Bam Bundy with me here during that match. Yeah. And I had to ask him, I'm like, you worried? You worried that this uh, that Gable might try to pull something on you? And he said he's going to have to reevaluate his game plan before coming out here tonight. Well, and Bam Bam Bundy, his size will fool you. There are things I have seen that man do in a wrestling ring that a six foot seven, you know, 200 and 99.9999. He tells me to round it up. A 300 plus man <laughs> his size should not do. Well over 300. And I know that. I'm trying to give him some credit. He told me to do it. He paid me off. But this is a great match for Gable to really prove himself tonight. If you're going to do it, do it against the guy who's gone up against Jerry Lawler. Yeah. Guys who, you know, a guy who's gone up against Tommy Rich, oh. Southern Legends. You know? You got to do this tonight. You got to prove yourself. Here we go. What a night of action, guys. The debut of Absolute Pro Wrestling, which, by the way, congratulations, sir. 
on one hell of a debuting night here. Great crowd. The card has been top notch, top to bottom. We still got this match and a main event to go. What a night. What a night. Now, now I do wonder, you know, Max Chill, not to cut you off. I apologize. No, you're good. But Max Chill is is still out here. Yeah. I, I'm a little surprised because I feel like he disappointed Gable a little I, bit. I, you know, I think earlier. he did. And you know, it also says a lot because Gable did not stay out here for Max Chill's match. He did no, go back. He, just, he only came out at the end, but very interesting. Bam Bam Bundy going to have to keep eyes on the back of his head with Max Chill hanging around there on the outside. Nah, I do love, look at this, you know, Joey Jojo checking out Bam like he would have some kind of instrument of <laughs> a weapon on him. I, if you don't trust anybody right now, it's Chill Leo. Very true. Very true. Gable from the King of the Cosmos, six foot 205. He likes to beat big guys. He told me earlier, he's like, hey, I beat Malice, and he's a monster, so right. I got this one. I, th I feel like if there's a, uh, if there's, a, a, I guess, a, a prototype, if there's something that Gable's going to watch footage of, besides Bam, it's it's rewatching his matches with Malice that can help him formulate a game plan, and maybe Max Show fits into that a little bit. I know when him and Malice had their matches, when Gable and him had their matches, Max's involvement was really non-existent. So tonight, I wonder if this is a part of that strategy. And uh, you never know. <laughs> when it comes to Gable Galileo, he's unpredictable. And that, that helps his game a little bit. Very true. You never know. Two-on-one situation here for Bam Bam Bundy as this match is going. Gable mocking Bundy. Probably not the smartest idea. He's yeah, the had. guy with the biggest chop on God's green earth. Yeet. Just throws him like a football. Just yeeting. Look at this. Why now, now Max Chill earlier was calling for timeouts here in his match. Like that's allowed. And now he's uh, trying to tell the referee to back bam bam off. The the best coach in the business, or the worst if you're Gable. Whoa. Oh, yeah. another yeet. Another one. Have you had your Yeeties today? Bam Bam Bundy out here to make a statement on Chileo. Well, you got to think, you know, when, when it comes to Bam, his luck in the Midwest has been up and down a little bit. He went under, uh, he went undefeated since August of last year in Iowa, lost a match recently in uh, Rugged Pro Wrestling. Now he comes over here to Absolute Pro Wrestling. Not only is he taking on a guy like Gable Galileo, but he's got a lot of pressure. He's an owner, a competitor. Like He's trying to come back off that loss. There's a lot of things to, that play in here to uh, his strategy and his mindset. I, I I firmly believe that, you know, when it comes to this matchup. 100% true. Look at this little test of strength with these two guys. And it's kind of funny. Look at Bam Bam. Like, are you serious? Why would you do a test of strength, Gable? Are you serious, Look, I, I've yeah. managed Gable before. And I if I was at ringside with him, but I am a very – unbiased man now when you have a lot of money involved in a company ace you suddenly become not so biased in some things so how's that feel weirder than what's on max chill's head but i would tell gable right now don't don't anger the bear don't push the bear oh no oh no Shh. hush Ooh. good god stiffer Ooh. than a two dollar steak Ooh. i'll steal the lines he's i don't gonna, care he's gonna feel that tomorrow that is a hundred percent for sure that's a top shelf chop. That's for Tommy. One more. Oh, God. Drops Gable with that chop. Two men you don't want chops from. They're both from Tennessee. That's Omega and that's Bam Bam Bundy. I'll tell you what. i never seen Omega till tonight. Glad he was here. I've seen grown men cry from those oh. chops. Oh. One of them might have been myself looking oh. in the mirror. Oh. Dusty oh, Rhodes no, no, like no, no, no. punches, but look at this. Max Chill getting involved. What the hell? Get him the hell out of here. Come on. Uh-oh. Referee uh -oh. Joey telling Max Chill he saw him. He grabbed his foot. Ah, he's Get throwing out Joey out. Joey is throwing Max Chill out of the arena. Fantastic call. Look, I've been on the receiving end of that. It feels a little weird watching it go, go down myself. But you know what? Could have happened to a nicer guy. No, really. He is a super sweetheart on, on the inside. But, yeah, he, he, you got caught, son. You Gable. got caught, son. Oh, look at him. Throwing chairs. Gable leading the referee, Joey, to not kick him out. But Joey is uh -oh. I Gable! Oh, Gable! No. The bear caught wow. you! 
Look at it. They're singing Max Chill out of the arena. Shoot you. Here comes the train. Oh, no. Oh, missed him. Eats Gable. that buckle. Now Gable stalking him. May not. Oh, double feet. Good drop kick there. He's got to take the legs out, though. Now, look at now. Hey, we know Gable likes to hit the spear. He's attacking the midsection, doing a great job there. Great. Oh, <laughs> don't poke the bear, Making Gable. Making it personal. You know, he's a bit of a show off. He has that little uh, tendency, but a great plan there. He wears a crown for a reason. Absolutely. Oh, I, you know, every time I say absolutely, I need to take a drink. It's like a pun just waiting to happen. Uh, what, Top shelf a... Tommy got the liquor ready for me There's because of... of how many times I say absolutely. But this has been an absolute showing so far for Gable Galileo. Attacks the midsection, works the big man down. How do you make a guy who's six foot seven, a little five foot four? That. That's what you do. Right now, though, wasting time, letting uh, Bam Bam Bundy kind of catch his breath. He's now putting a foot to the neck, working him down in that corner. Now, Bam's a guy who has had neck issues in his career. So, again, good strategy there. Gable is a student of the game. He has studied so many opponents. He has studied so many matches. Ooh. He learns from his mistakes. And I feel like we said with Malice. There are things in his game, in his arsenal, that he is using on Bam that he never used on Malice. And I am firmly a believer that the strategy may, may. I'm on a 90% feeling right now. It may pay off tonight. It may. I, I'll tell you what. Here's something no one can uh -oh. ever say about Gable, and that is Goal! he does his homework, but did he do it enough? Not, you got to stay. When you got the momentum, when you got that momentum, you got to keep on it. Especially when your opponent has got you on size by a few times. You cannot give him any room. But right now, though, Gable's still in control. Yeah, Gable was uh, able to avoid disaster right there from the big Bam Bam Bundy. Look at this here. Oh, are you kidding me? Trying to is he going to try? Oh, oh no. no. The bear is awoken. They're not moving him, Gable. Good God. Oh, look at that. Solid elbow to the What was face. that bear movie with Leonardo DiCaprio? I don't know. Because uh, Gable was Leo yeah. and Bundy was the bear. The only bear movie I know is Yogi Bear. But either way, Gable is probably wishing he was in back with Max Chill right now. Well, Bundy's the bear in the big green house right now, ready to kick the hell out of Gable. But Gable with a little rickety-dickety to the eyes. Now Gable jaw ja jacking our crowd here. See, but he can't do that, Ace. That's where his game plan goes down. You got to stay focused. You have to stay focused when you have a monster in the ring with you. Crowd letting Gable know how they feel tonight. Got to remind folks, too, big main event right after this. It's Ethan Everhart, the hometown boy from the jungle. The jungles of Waterloo. He's ready to go up against the main event, Maddie Star. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Talk about oh, boys. Look at that power bomb. And that took a lot out of not just Gable there, his body up and over. Gable almost going through the ring on that one. But Bundy hurting from that one too. Look at oh my god. Gable just look at the out. face. Bam, Bam, Bundy trying to get back up to his feet, trying to get this crowd behind him. Up before the count of 10. Uh-oh. There goes the strap. It's a lot like Shanky Boy. Shot oh, comes down. Big clothesline. Strikes come out. Big backhand. Goodness. There's a lot of back elbow there on that one. Oh. Got him caught. Oh, ghost the knee. Off the road. Uh oh, I've seen this. Look at that lariat. He may have just taken Gable's head off. Gable is a hurt boy right now. My goodness. And what a match for what both men. A match. Nonstop action tonight here from Absolute Pro Wrestling. Gable in all kinds of pain as he's trying to get back to his feet. Bam, Bam Bundy has him in the corner, full control, whips him across the uh -oh. ring. What's he going to do? Here comes a there two, three. Oh, look at this. He grabbed referee Joey, and here comes Max Chill. What the, what the hell is, referee what is Joey Max Joey Chill doing? Referee Joey knocked out hey, Max Chill. What is, what is he doing over here? What is he doing over here? Wait a sec. Max Chill just threw powder in the face, in what, the face of what Gable Galileo. On? There's a lot of powder over there. What the hell is that? 
What the hell? What the hell is Look in the face? We got Gable and Max Chill talking to referee Joey. Something about wait a second. He's oh no! What looks like oh no! Powder. Oh no! They're trying to they're Ace. They're trying to say he threw powder in the oh. eyes of Gable Gallo. Oh no! my God! What? Are you kidding me? Gable Highway Gale, robbery. Max Chill steal it from Bam Bam Bundy and leave the. Oh bathroom. my God! They left. What They're in the car. The hell just happened, Jason. Look at this. That's that's the bag. That's a that's a chill leo bag full of some substance. Now I'm sorry, but Joey didn't see it. So how does he know that actually happened? He can't call that. You know, oh my goodness. This, this is some this grade crowd. A bull, you know what? This crowd is not happy with what uh -oh. just went down. Uh, Joey oh. Jojo Waterloo Joey, is not your forte. Joey Let me tell you, they're I'll not you loving what. you now, buddy. They're not happy with them. What a insane ending to what was a great match. Right. But it, it, you hate to see that end that way. Bam Bam Bundy, I'll tell you what, he is not done with Chill Leia. No. Not by a long shot. Well, Ace, we've... Uh, We've seen some pretty damn good wrestling so far, and we have one match. Look at that. Yeah. Big shout out to us. Yeah, big Mike, <laughs> big Iron Mike Johnson. He knows where the money is. Yes, he knows. Sir. Yes, sir. But you guys are bringing, you know, you're, you're sponsoring a, a tremendous main event, what should have been Dirty yeah. Dog, Let's Jimmy Wild, The Dirt Dog, Jimmy talk. Wild, against Matty Starr. Now here we are. We were we were pumped to see this. Jimmy Wild, Matty Starr, the legend killer, the explosive Jimmy Wild. And that was not the plan that Matty Starr had in, in mind. In fact, tried to make it so he wasn't going to have to wrestle tonight. Matty Starr had a very dangerous game plan. There he is. He had a very dangerous game plan. It almost worked. But I, I tell you what, Ace, I wasn't going to stand for that tonight. Thank you, sir. And Ethan Everhart, right place, right time, right main event. This is a big opportunity for this young man tonight in front of his home fans, in front of his mother and his whole family here, it's a chance for him to beat the MVP of professional wrestling in the Midwest. That is not an opinion. That is a fact. I don't get along with this man on certain things. I don't agree with the actions that he had, he, he displayed tonight, that he's, I don't agree with the, with the things he did. However, you cannot deny he is the best at what he does in a professional wrestling ring in the Midwest. I'll tell you what. I can't argue on how good Matty Starr is, but I can argue that he is a P.O.S. of a person. Tell me for you, I'll say absolutely, Ace. Well, you know what? Actually, it's good to be back on here, guys. Uh, I, uh, I'm glad I stepped away, though, for that last match. Uh, I mean, Gable Galileo getting away with the, uh, but you know what? Chicanery. Highway Ch Ch robbery. Ch chicanery, but also very smart on their part. Him well, and Max Chill doing what they need to do. Oh, guys, my boy. Max oh, hang Chill. on, though, guys. To feel this, we got hometown a hero. Here he comes. Here You're ready explosion. to feel this one. Look at that. There he is. Oh, baby. From I the, got chills. From the woods of Waterloo, Ethan Everhart is here. I thought for a second you were going to say it from the loo, and I was going to have to scold you again like I did on Tuesday. Now, hey, but not a hey, deal. the woods of Waterloo, we cleaned it up for you, Tommy, I just for you. That. Oh, here we go. We're off to oh, a hot we start. are not wasting any time. Oh, no. look at that. There we go. Look at that. Ethan just coming in. Look at the oh, up and down he goes. You he think Maddie was expecting this? Uh, absolutely Maddie not. Maddie thought he was going to be gone already by this point. And Holy cannoli. He's getting his butt kicked. That's what it. a frenzy of offense from Ethan Everhart. By the way, frenzy will be in Fort Frenzy September 24th in Fort Dodge, Iowa. And my God, 
if Ethan Everhart can do this, we might just see him there as well. I don't think Ethan wants to work by the hour on this one. He's looking to get this thing done oh, quickly. Woo! He is on fire. This crowd is loving it. Man, uh -oh. the star is in trouble. You ever see a jungle boy go flying? You might I, see it I now. I see it now, that's for sure. Oh, Ooh. what a coward. Here's the thing you can uh, that you can't deny about Maddie Starr, and that is he's smart. He is one of the smartest men in the room, but Ooh. Oh, big chops on the oh. outside from Ethan. Another. Ethan's not going to let him get away that easy. After everything he did to Jimmy Wilde tonight, you know that Ethan wants a measure of revenge. Oh, no. Look at that. Saying hello to Mama Vandy and company over yonder. The jungle boy, the man from the woods of Waterloo, ready to take Maddie Star. Hey, maybe he wants some new merch. Ethan Everhart giving Maddie Star the tour of the venue. And, hey, let's uh -oh. start with some t shirts. How about them? You win some Everhart to table gear. Too. Look Get at your this. Ethan yeah. Everhart t shirt. There it is. <laughs> this guy. I, he knows how to sell merch, apparently, but he needs to get back in the ring uh -oh. to win this one. And he's going to be against oh a huge Oh, my God. Here. He's choking the life out of Matty Starr. Foreign object. Come on, Christian. Let's go. Uh, at well, this point, they're already outside the ring. I don't think much matters. Tommy, you got to agree, though. If anyone deserves this. It's Matty Starr. It's Matty Starr. That may be true. And I don't. He I, called for it. I never he had to agree with anything, it. Mr. Prentice, but I will. On this uh -oh, one, say yes, uh -oh, he may uh -oh, deserve no, no, something. No, no, no. But... Uh oh, here it comes. Oh, oh, look at this. He's bringing in help. Oh, my goodness. He brought in Mama Everhart. Now, hey, now we didn't hear a ring bell officially. We didn't see a signal from Chris Hansen. Well, now, now he's going to try and force some of the rules out here. I oh, mean, look at this. We just see, we just seen Max Chill get kicked out for helping his partner, and yet Mama Everhart can go ahead and go ahead and slap Jeez, her opponent. Louise. Did Ethan Everhart just autograph Maddie Starr's chest? He gave him, he gave us a, a signature. Oh, look at these and, guys. Uh -oh, They're going to the uh -oh. bar. It's getting well. Now crazy. I think Ethan. I think Ethan's hungry. Ethan is hungry. Well, you know, he's from the, the woods, the jungle. He finds food wherever he can get it. Oh my goodness. Maddie Star may end up in the hot dogs here in a minute. Stephanie oh, wait Williams. a second. They're he got a drink. They're he got a water. H2 Karen and company saying, hey, we'll hydrate you, brother. Oh, man. This is unfair. He's getting a hydration If we get break. an H2O, I swear to God. If we get an H2O, I, I chant. Oh, oh the man! Face of Maddie Star. Board, board we do use against Maddie Star. This is we, ridiculous. We do have some COVID rules and uh, regulations in the back. Don't worry, everyone's been tested. The water's yes, fine. Yes. That's we still, made sure of it. That still doesn't matter. That's a foreign object. He's already used a shirt for a choking device. This is ridiculous, and everybody here is Again, cheering for him. For somebody like Maddie Star, there's a chant they like to you know, to, to, to yell out. MVP. For Hall of Fame, MVP. for Hall of Fame shows, they like to say you deserve it. Hey, you know tonight, that, Maddie that, deserves the it. The other thing is, Maddie Star, we don't know the oh, extent of damage chop. he caused. Big, like, oh, big, big chap, yeah, yeah. So a lot Tommy of this is well all. deserved. Maddie had some signs of life there, but quickly not he got concrete, brought not up. Not on the concrete. Not on the not concrete. On Come this. on. Oh, no, no, not oh, damn. Oh. No, how can we, wait, how can we there, be cheering folks? for this? Look at the well, pain in Maddie Star's unbelievable. face. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable right now. This crowd is loving this action, guys. I mean, this is absolutely insane. I, I will tell you this. I've seen Ethan Everhart in the ring. I've seen him be a tag team champion. I've seen him in singles. Wait a second. I hey, have hey, Ace, not look at this. Seen look at this, guys. Calling, calling for a pause in the action. I have not a seen coward. Ethan Everhart this fired up ever. Big chop now. More chops. God damn. Matty he's in the Star. ropes right now. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. There Referee we go, trying to break it up. Oh, low blow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I didn't see it. Referee Christian did not see it. Low blow from Matty Star. You say low blow. I say well-deserved. At this point, with all the things that Ethan has gotten away with, I mean, come on. That's at Look, least. I hate to agree with Tom. Tom has a slight point. See, even as an owner and operator, I, I I have to agree with Tommy on this one. Yes, yeah, I'm a little biased. I try not to be. I told you that here in the last match, but after everything Maddie has done tonight, he deserves a lot of what has happened. Well, that's a, I that's, hate saying that. That may be fair, but uh, now that you agree with me, I will ca start calling you Mr. Prentice again. Well, and now you're seeing that Ethan's kind of eating some revenge now. He's he's kind of he, he's got to take this dish. 
He's right. got to eat it. He's got to eat. Maddie start calling out the fans right now, and they got nothing to say other than a few pot oh, shots. Look at this. We got some fans throwing stuff at Maddie Star. That fan needs to be thrown out. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Where's security on this one? What happened? They were all here earlier today. Well, they, they oh. were. They were with uh, Jimmy I mean, Wild in the back. It did like. they all have to just drag him to the hospital directly by hand? Oh, big right punch to the gut. I, I, I know we have a medical update on Jimmy Wild. He he has been looked at. I know he's still in the trainer's room. Look at that. The boys have been talking with him, as in Bryce and uh, Shanky Boy. I uh, good nothing but good spirits right now from Jimmy Wild. But again, the focus is on these two, and I know that. And it's hard not to think about Jimmy while this is all happening. Here's the thing. We can say Maddie is a bad guy because he is, but you can't also deny. Good God, the a- years of talent that he's gone up against. Maddie Starr is a true Iowa legend here, and he has taken it to this young kid, Ethan Everhart, who again has had a great few couple of years and really just coming into his own. But I don't Look know if the kid very clean choke right now too. This is great for Maddie Starr. I don't true know pure wrestling right now. If the guy from the jungle can beat the legend killer. I don't know if that can happen. That's, you know, you bring up a good point there. But, again, you look at how this match started and to where it is now. Giving credit where credit is due. As much as I feel like Matty deserves what's happened to him, he's done a great job controlling the situation after a big beatdown from oh, Ethan Everhart. And, wow. wow. Oh, got out. Dude, got out of there. Almost. Almost. I feel you should just go ahead and tell the guy to ring the bell anyways right now. Come on. That uh, that seemed legit right there. That seemed like three. A, a deadly clothesline there. It was close. Not quite a three top shelf, Tommy. Right now, though, Maddie starts just, just toying with two Ethan counts Everhart. During the sponsored main event. That's right. A this two is... count brought to you by. <laughs> two count. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Cheap plug. We got him. Now, Matty Starr just here. showing all kinds of disrespect to Ethan Neverhart and this crowd. This See? also may be where he makes his mistake. Why is he giving Ethan Neverhart so much time? Because he just knows cool. he's better. Goodness. He just knows he's better, that's all. I mean, he looked right at Ethan's family and just struck his back. And now look at this. Again, pointing at fans of Ethan Everhart. Oh, Stiff, stiff shots to the chest. Maddie Uh-oh. Star, don't. Oh, oh no, Maddie. I think he awoken the jungle boy inside of Ethan Everhart. Well, or maybe Ethan just looking at him as though he is the actual role model he is. I mean, is it, he smiling? Yeah. He's smiling. Ethan He's Everhart smiling. Is joining. Maddie, Maddie Star has no idea what's going on behind him. Come on, Matt. Turn around. Come on, Maddie. No, turn around. Turn around. You gotta get back in this, buddy. Maddie. You did something bad, bro. Uh-oh. Holy Look. crap. This crowd is getting ready. Get there fired we go. Up. Come on. Oh, come on, Maddie. Keep going. Keep going, Maddie. Ethan Iverhart says, No. No, sir. You will not chop me again. Le- oh, there my we God. Go. Lethal shots right now. Come on, Maddie. There we go. You see the red on his chest, but look at him. It's like Ethan doesn't even feel it. Oh, Jesus. Fire. Here we go. The kid coming back. Big who? Whoa. Big who? Maddie is dazed Uh-oh. right now. Does Ethan know you can't treat a legend like this? Come on. Anything goes in this match when that bell's ring. Whoop. Oh, oh Samoan drop. Middle of the ring. That's a safari drop, oh, brother. Safari That's drop. That's a safari Excuse drop. Excuse me. Apparently, Ethan, though, doesn't want to take advantage of this. He's playing to his audience too much. Maddie Star struggling to get to his feet. And oh, Good splash, splash there. Whips him across to the other corner. Fouls up with another big splash. Can we get three? Oh, good oh. reversal there. Nice job by Ethan to cover that. Oh, look at Pulls that. him down. Now what's he got in mind? You got to follow up on that. Ethan's kind of slow on that one. There we go. Big boot to the section there. Puts Maddie down. Up. On oh. the rope. Using the rope. And over. Go. And bam. Oh, Rolls it oh into God. the. Is he going to go again? Got here? Wow. One this suplex. Some athleticism. Oh, oh the cutter. A cutter. I don't know if In I've ever seen that before. Insane. 
Oh, so close. Matty Starr able to kick out. A close two count there. Almost rolled Matty right into the ropes, though, too. So Yeah, and you know, that, that was a bad placement by Ethan. I know everyone here wants to see him win this one, but you got to be aware of the surroundings. That could have been worse. I mean, obviously, still got the two count only, but that, again, you got to have your situational awareness, even if you're in this situation. Oh, what do we got right going now. on? Matty outside the ring. Ethan going off the rope. Up and oh, over. Oh, oh, my God. They almost killed the child. Oh, my home. God. Oh, Ethan Everhart goes Come on, Ethan. over the top. Get him in there. He was willing to take out his own family on that one. Are you kidding me? Come on, Ethan. Boy, I, you know what? Going to the top rope. Matty out center of the ring. Oh, oh, oh. Matty starts able to get up and hang up Ethan Everhart on that top rope. Great play. Great maneuver there by oh, Matty. Oh, my God. Breaking up the momentum. How about that Ethan Superman throwing, dive over that Ethan top Ethan throwing rope. body and soul at Matty Starr, and it still doesn't keep the malicious main eventer down. The legend killer looking to put this match away, but Ethan Everhart's coming back, headbutt. And that's a solid head you don't want to take a headbutt from. Oh, he's got you in the eyes. Oh. Big eye gouge. Maddie's got, again, both these guys still on What do they got left here? On that top row, but it's just not a great place to be. Maddie looks like he's setting up. Can the legend killer oh take my care God. of this young oh my God. buck, Ethan Oh, my Everhart. God. Oh, no, 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 no. Like uh -oh, uh -oh. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Good God! Oh, my goodness. Maddie start doing what he needs to do Both with that big superplex. Felt that one. Whole, oh, I, 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 man. Maddie just needs to roll over and get that Dangerous cover. measures here. One, two. two, that's it. Oh, oh! kicks out. What a Bailey slow count. What a slow count. Are you out. kidding me? Maddie Starr cannot believe it. Look at his face. After superplex like that, that's incredible. Come on. Uh, Maddie, Chris here is Maddie doesn't know. Look at that face. Look at the look on Maddie's face. He knows he's got to go deeper into the well. And he'll go as deep as I he needs to tonight. What the hell will it take to keep this kid down? This crowd chanting for Ethan Everhart as he gets to his feet. But Matty Starr, look at him. He's got his, his set. His target set on Ethan. Goes for the this big the kick. Super kick. It. Roll up. Roll up. No. Oh. Kicked out. Almost. Got no. Him. Oh, no. Super kick. No. Ethan goes Come on, Ethan. Down. Kick out. Kick out. Oh, what? Are you kidding me again oh with a slow count? Look at the slow count. Are you kidding me? This guy should be put away a, a thousand years ago. It seems a like a super this point. plex. That may be a your super opinion, kick. But this None match of it is still going. None of it can hold the kid down. I'm Maddie, Maddie Star cannot believe it. That should have been three right there. I don't know what referee Chris is thinking right now. That should have been three. It's not our fault. He got down there slow My and then counted God. slow as well. What is Maddie Star thinking? He cannot finish this match i have real doubts that chris can actually count to three at this point oh my god i just unbelievable heart from ethan everhart on display tonight Maddie's he's got his it, his family here there's so much on the line for him this could be a big moment but maddie star going for a kill shot and no one ever wants to lose in their hometown in front of their family and friends he might have to tonight Missed oh the kick maddie again. misses that kick Ducks the line. Ethan up goes and, up oh, over. Uh -oh. Got him. Oh. Goes that down on top enough. of that the elbow. Ethan going out. Harley's ready to go to the top rope here. Try and put this one away, but I don't know Finishing if he can with touches. Maddie. Ethan Everhart got that top Jungle rope. Drop. He got it. Come on. Two. Three. Yeah. It's over. It is over. Ethan Everhart cuts oh, out with the win. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> wins the match. Unbelievable. Come on. I mean, I just can't believe that Chris Fine was able to count to three. Ethan Everhart with the win in front of all his friends, his family, this crowd. Look at them. You can see it on their faces. Jason Prentice has left us. He's ready to go celebrate with the winner, Ethan Everhart. This is ridiculous, though. What a main event. Back and forth, back and forth. Maddie looked like he was going to steal it. 
Then yeah. Ethan comes out looking like he's going to steal it. But that guy, they just kept going. And here we are with our winner, Ethan Everhart. That's right. The Waterloo contingent here of the, the boys and Ethan Everhart doing their thing, playing to the crowd. Them Waterloo boys, all big winners tonight here at the debut show for Absolute Pro Wrestling and Top Shelf Tommy. What a hell of a night. Hell of a night. Uh, I was glad that I was able to be on commentary with you for the first time ever, by the way. I want to yes, make sure sir. that's out there. Uh, Mr. Prentice, Jason Prentice, and then Bam Bam Bunny himself doing the first half of the show and having a hell of a match himself. This has been one heck of a night of wrestling right now. I'm. Mean, this is the start to absolute pro wrestling, APW. I'll tell you what, my calendar is marked, and I am waiting for show number two. Show number two is announced already for August 27th, right back here at the Pavilion. And uh, get your tickets. Make sure you join us. We'll be here. Another great night of action. Again, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Absolute Pro Wrestling. We'll see you next time.